All right, we made it. 20.5. Uh, it was a fun one. I had a great time. I wish I could have done it twice. Was only able to do it once. Uh, I had a wedding to be at and a wedding to be in. Uh, my brother got married, so that was really cool. But uh, I am very happy with how I executed the workout. And I got a good score. And things were great. So for those of you that don't know what the workout is, I have it right here. It was 40 muscle-ups on the rings. 20 or no uh, 80 cal row and then 120 wall balls and you can break it up however you wanted so I decided to do some super crazy um, break up portion way and uh, I'll put it on the screen right now so you can see how I broke it up that's how I broke it up um, every time I went to the rings it was sets of 10 and then every time I went to the wall minus the first set I believe I did like 15 but uh, like I said, you can look right there. That's how I have it split up. And it worked for me. So let's hop in. Let's see how it goes. Whew. It was great. I actually had a great time. Everything went very well. Three, two, one. Here we go. Whew. I believe here I did six and four on the muscle ups. Uh, Logan's also doing the workout with me. He's actually back behind me here. Five and six. Yep. So secured six. I went back into it. But they set a four. Three. Last one. And four. Awesome. Have Zoe there uh, judging me and then Karina over there recording uh, for the Facebook Live. Here I open up with 30 wall balls. As a taller athlete, I do really enjoy uh, wall balls and I do enjoy rowing for calories. Whew. I do enjoy rowing for meters as well. Um, but calories are fun. Rowing in general, I really like. Um, but yeah, so 10 ring muscle ups, 30 wall balls here. It was a good workout. Transitions were not too bad. Um, I did kind of look at the video already after I did it just to see if I could um, cut off any more. Um, time anywhere um, I don't believe I was going to be able to really uh, I rested I feel my max and I um, executed all the reps with like appropriate rest so I feel like I did everything that I could have done in my power uh, at the time and I I gave my best effort and I got my best score so Finished the workout, so that was cool. <laughs> On the rower now. Whew. Gosh, yawning. I think I was yawning in the last video too. I'm so tired. Um, if you notice there, the rowing technique that I'm kind of doing, uh, I've tried to teach some of the um, athletes at Depot on the difference between rowing for calories and rowing for meters. Uh, when you row for meters, you can continuously dive in, get out, dive in, get out, and have it be good, um, or go as fast as you want. Yeah, you get more meters. But for calories, you want to have a little bit more of an aggressive pull every time, not necessarily a continuous cycle of the rower. Uh, you want to have a nice, big, aggressive pull you can half second rest at the top, dive in, big aggressive pull, half second pause at the top, and um, that should cycle more calories in meters, or more calories compared to how you row four meters. Okay. Um, also, talking about game plan, um, noticed I went from the rings to the wall to the rower, back to the wall, and now back to the rings. I thought it was smart to 
never go from the rings to the rower or the rower to the rings um, because there's a lot of pulling going on. Um, this is my second set of 10 here. Let's figure out what I did. I did three, four, I think I only did five. I wanted to do six, but I told myself no. Yeah, I did five. And then I think I did three and two, if I believe. Um, so yes, I never went from the rower back to the rings, nor did I go rings back to the rower. Uh, I felt that that was going to be just too much pulling um, on the forearms, on the shoulders, on the biceps, everything. I just felt like there was going to be too much pulling going on. So I decided to split it up how I did, where I went rings, wall, row, wall, rings, wall, row, wall, rings, back and forth, back and forth. I want to say that was three maybe, or four, let's see here. And I did five and five that time. Cool. Back to the wall where I believe I did 15. Let's count this real quick. One, two, three. Whew. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, yeah. So every time I went back to the wall, it was 15, um, not counting the first round, which I did 30. So see there, I got a couple of choppy um, pulls at the rower just to get the um, motor started. And then one big pull, dive in, one big pull, dive in, one big pull. And I was getting a calorie per pull. Um, I know everybody's different, everybody rows different, but that is very efficient for rowing for calories. <sighs> Got Karina there showing everybody my game plan. I had it written down there on the whiteboard. Let's see here. After this row, I'll go back to the wall. After the wall, I'll go back to the rings. And like I was saying beforehand with uh, pacing, um, wasn't a lot of downtime. I mean, the downtime was me resting or even grabbing a little bit of chalk, but there wasn't a lot of unnecessary stuff. So like right there, that's about three, four. It's like a five second transition. Um, could I have gone faster in my transitions? Yeah, probably. But I mean, then I would have probably had to sit around and catch my breath. So after watching the video and figuring out that my transitions were pretty darn small and they were pretty darn consistent, that's just where I got my my rest at and that's where I took my, took my breath. And it is what it is. So like right here, let's see. That's one, two, three, four, so hey I got my first rep after 30 seconds not terrible I mean, if I jumped up and did a single, yeah, it'd be bad. But there's three, let's see, there's four, and hell, I got five, and five. Cool, so rest of 30 seconds, so I got five. Let's see, now I'm at about three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So about a 25 second break that time and I believe I do three let's see here and that was three yep 
So I need two more. So like I was saying, I mean, I believe that I was moving at the best of my ability. Um, if I did do the workout again, I would just have to move faster, but that might cause me to possibly hit a wall earlier or, or I mean, blow up and miss a rep. Never did I miss a rep, so that was really good. Nice clean reps, and then straight to the wall. So look at that was three, four, five seconds, picking up the ball, and I'm getting to work. So really the workout for me was a challenge on the rings. Um, as lengthy and kind of heavy as I am, I'm glad that I did as well as I did. Um, because the rings are a challenging point in, um, in this workout for me. Um, but the wall balls and the rowing is my strong suit, so that's where I knew I had to crush it. So, like, see, the, the transition there is really, they're, they're, I mean, if I went any faster, it would just be me getting my heart rate higher by moving quicker. So, I mean, transition there was probably about a five-second transition. Going back to the wall on this next one, we can take a look. But really just, I mean, I don't think I could have moved any quicker than I was this is what it is. There's John there with his new baby. <laughs> yeah, that was a great, that was a great one. Double checking my uh, my whiteboard to see um, if I was supposed to be rowing what I was rowing. I believe I rode 20 cows every single time, uh, giving me 20, 40, 60, 80, yeah, about, yeah, sounds about right. So let's take a look at this transition here. And then also talking about switching things up, like, eh, I could have rode harder, yes, yes I could have. It might have blown me up for my rings though. So let's see here, done, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I remember this round. I took it took it took a little bit more. Ten, eleven. So eleven seconds there compared to my normal five. But hey, I was getting tired. <laughs> Let's see, staying strong on a solid set of fifteen, I believe. So this is gonna be my last time going back to the rings. Um so I'll get my ten ring muscle ups done, back to the wall, and then back to the rower one final time. And yet again, I think this is a 30 second rest, so that was an 11.30 on the clock right there. Let's see how these rings go. I think I did something like a four, three, and a three, I wanna say. My last time on the rings, I've already done 30 ring muscle ups. Pretty damn tired. 11.30 to 11.50, we're 20 seconds of rest. Shaking out the arms a little bit, jumping back up. And yeah, 28 seconds, 30 seconds, rep number one went, so. 30 second rest slash transition slash chalk, not too bad. And four, and that is gonna be a rest. I got super close to not being able to lock out, I think my, last final like 40 is um, ring muscle up um, I was like pushing and pushing and pushing and then I think I glanced over at, at Zoe to, to, to give to have her give me the okay for my lockout I, let's see if we can see it Went for one more boom got that one nice lockout so that was four and three making seven so I got three left Let's see here. Workout is almost done. I know as soon as I finish these rings, I just hammer the ball, hammer the row, call it good. So let's see here. I think it's on the final rep, so on the third rep here. Nice solid lockout. Another one, and I think I glance over at Zoe right here. I'm trying to push, 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 look over at her. Got it, and she gave me. Gave me the okay. Send your clap it over there. <laughs> so you got again straight to the wall, getting to work, finishing up my 15 here.
And after these 15, hop on that rower, smash out a 20 cal row. That is it. Oh, my monitor didn't. My monitor didn't turn on. I got mad. <laughs> I didn't get mad. I just screamed. Let's see here. No, I went sub 15, so we only got about like 40 seconds ish left. It was a great workout. I had a fantastic time. Probably it's definitely another one of my um, another one of my favorites. I feel this year's open was one of the hardest. Um, I learned a lot uh, about myself. Um, I've gotten much fitter over the past couple of years, and that's awesome to use the open as a little bit of a guidance for how you're doing. But it was great. It was great. I think I smashed this last row, and then I fall off the side. That's a wrap. <laughs> the heart rate was so high. I remember the heart rate was just super high. And then my arms were just just really scratched up too from the straps on the rings. That's another, um, also another reason why I didn't retest it on Monday because my arms like we were almost bleeding right at the end of this workout. It was pretty bad. They scabbed up pretty bad. Logan's still working in the background. <sighs> Don't remember what he got, but did good, Logan. Good job. I got you, though. Also, today's the same day that we did Triple Friend, and I got you. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so bad. Well, that is a wrap. Uh, that is going to conclude our 2020 Open in 2019. But... Can't wait to uh, start posting a bunch of videos. I have a lot of them saved on the computer, so can't wait to get them out to you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the commentary videos. There won't be any more until the next open, so you can look forward to that, I guess. <laughs> um, I got a couple of things coming up. I got a workout um, video that's really interesting. It's kind of funny. I hope, I hope you're gonna like it. But I have a workout video that's pretty funny. Uh, I have a review for a backpack that I just purchased, uh, no surrender gear backpack. And then I also have a sandbag that I purchased a while back, a um, uh, never stop grinding, I believe it is, uh, sandbag. Got a review for that and uh, it's gonna be cool. And we'll just keep on posting, keep on having fun and keep on staying strong. See you guys next time, later.